Eat or the land. Welcome back, land. everyone. The land. To Bloodlords. Yes. The land of Blood undead. Lords. Time to run and be Pete Fanders. In our last session, our group of adventurers had returned, finally, from the abyss to the land of the dead. Geb itself, finding yourself in the undead capital city of Mechatar. You had reached out to Lixol, getting her to come this way and meet up with you all, having realized that while you were sent back to the Land of the Dead, you were also sent back in time to three days after the wedding that had left you all trapped for 200 plus years. Most of you. One of you was already trapped during this time. Waiting for her to arrive so you could decide on your next move, you took a brief detour over to the Deathless Arena, letting Solomon at least go check out the location and set up for a fight at some point while also selling uh, what you had material-wise, the corpses that Solomon has been holding on to all this time. You got a pretty good price, actually, meeting with a uh, seemingly maybe higher up, uh, you're not really sure, bookie, someone who works at the arena by the name of Salt Peter, who purchased the items from you, did a test of Solomon's strength, and signed him up for a fight at some point in the future when there is availability. Beyond that, you all headed to the Ebon Mausoleum, hoping to meet with an authority on chronomancy and figure out exactly what can and can't you do now that you're here. You met with Professor Valtherian, who let you know the ins and outs of mainly just don't go find and interact with the past you that's in the now, because if you do, the current you from the future will stop existing. It's all good times. He passed the drug bag around to help you all get through that conversation also. Uh, yeah. um, some of you took it, some of you did not. I thought it was just weren't affected. <laughs> <laughs> some of you didn't try hard enough. How about that? <laughs> Take more. I don't uh, think there'd be any left. But we ended session with the group stepping away from the mausoleum, finishing their conversation up, unless there was anything in the intervening time you all have come up with question-wise that you would like to ask the good professor. Uh, I, I had a question I wanted to ask Nix, but she's not here, so I don't have anything. All right. It is the first of Eridus, late afternoon. You don't know exactly when Lixol will arrive, but the choice is yours what you would like to do. If you'd like to just lay low until Lixol arrives, you're more than welcome to, or if there's other things you'd like to do around the city in the meantime, you can do that as well. Uh -huh. Um, Jericho, there's no role that I could make or any of us could make to make a guess. Oh, never mind. I already asked you this question. My apologies. Yes, you did. You said no. Yeah, you said no. Um, is there anything we could do to maybe earn some income while we wait or gather more information about the current timeline we're in? Of course. Yeah, if you guys want to uh, head out into public and either earn some money or... Just gather information over the coming days. Those are things you're more than welcome to do. Yeah, I am. Uh, brain. Yeah, I, I think because when we first got here, when we talked to the guy and asked what year it was, he kind of said some stuff that Amira didn't recognize. Um, Mechatar as kind of 
being in our orig original timeline. So uh, definitely Amira would like to go around and see what she can find out about the state of Mechatar. Sure. Okay. Um, Amira, would it just be... This is Mahari asking her, obviously. Mm -hmm. Would it just be better if I lay low and maybe find a cooking job somewhere? I mean, I'm pretty good at that. Uh, I mean, I I don't want to keep you locked up in that uh, in that inn or anything like that. Well, um, I would I'd rather do what's in the best interest of the group. I mean, if I need to stay out of sight, I can stay out of sight. I, I guess the question I got for you, Mahari, is how confident do you feel about being able to go around without uh, anybody noticing you? Well, people are going to people are going to notice me. What now, whether they pay attention to me is that's a question I would have for you. I mean, from what um, you described Megatar, this place is absolutely full of, you know, what other people would call as undead freaks. Unless they have some way of sniffing out exactly what I am, I would just look like another abomination. Yeah. Um so remind me, last session did we ever figure out like how common are gnolls in Mechatar? Colo are not uh, very common, but you did okay. also pick up a masquerade scarf. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, Amira will just kind of like, uh, you know, assuming the masquerade scarf is a little off, she'll fix it and say, just make sure you wear this. And it should be fine. Probably, you know, keep heavy concealing armor on just in case. Uh, probably anyone who sees like uh like Kashmi said let that tail flip around because most Kolo don't have tails so it'll probably throw people off this is true he's just a cat folk with rabies y'all yeah exactly kill anyone who sees you uh, um oh oh no 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 no, no. that's that's Pro not a good idea yeah Probably don't kill everybody who sees you. That that might not. Yeah. Might not be the best idea. What's the point of the disguise? It. <laughs> look, it. Look, if anybody sees you, let me or Kashmi know. We we can probably go clean it up. Okay. Um. Are there any eating contests that I can take part in while we win? <laughs> Random in events? Uh. <laughs> no. Um. Not. At least not here at the Withered Root. Uh. I mean, Mechatar is a place of all forms of debauchery, so. Uh, perhaps you could find other locales where those sorts of contests are going on? Perception? Uh, that's... It's more gonna fall under gather info to find the locales. <laughs> he wanders aimlessly, gets lost. Yeah. <laughs> the whole next session is just trying to find him. <laughs> know, right? Where in the world is Solomon? <laughs> Jeez. It's like the song. Okay. It's a beautiful diplomacy bonus there, Solomon. Be absolutely delightful. Thank you. <laughs> so, did it, do you need me to find you a, an eating contest? Can I respond to what he learns first? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Man rolled well. <laughs> Figured something out. Did I not 20, no. finally? No, you didn't. <laughs> Damn. Excuse me. Um, but like finding general information about, uh, you know, the feeding parties isn't the most challenging thing. If you're trying to find like the high society eating parties, that would be. Uh, oh, he doesn't care about class. <laughs> right. If you're looking for just the regular parties, those are everywhere. 
after asking around a little bit, the uh, the flesh kennels is where you want to go for those sorts of nightly events. Sounds delightful. The true heatness of Galarian, the yeah. undead. The, uh, the flesh kennels, as you're informed about them, Solomon, are effectively the the every man's deathless arena instead of fighting for glory this is a place where the desperate and hungry fight for food creatures many humanoids especially but uh, other monstrosities both made and found around the inner sea are brought here revitalized and forced to fight. And the winners get to take their literal pound of flesh from the loser. Well, I should have come here first. <laughs> um, you can absolutely earn income for a couple days here using athletics if you would like. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, uh, Mahari, you said you wanted to use cooking lore to earn income? Yes, please. Yeah. Nothing, yeah, nothing high profile, basically sure. along the same lines as Solomon, you know, just the every, the every undeads, hey, I just need a quick bite and right. I'm good to go. Yeah. Uh, we'll also say this, you guys have six days here before Lexol will arrive. Okay. Um, Where is earn income, downtime? Uh, if I haven't put the macro on your hotbar for it, which should look like stacks of gold coins. Uh, everyone who uh, doesn't can have not. it can go over to the Compendium Packs tab in Foundry, which is second from the right, looks like a closed book. In Search Compendium Packs, you just type Earn or Earn Income, and you want the macro that looks like stacks of gold coins. Uh, what level should I set, set this at? Uh, Mechatar is 20th level. You are doing the decidedly underground sort of feasting. Let's go ahead and say for here. Uh, let's go ahead and say you can do up to level nine. Nine. Okay. You said six days? Yes. Oop. I pushed the wrong button. Six. Mahari, go ahead and give me an earn, or not an earn income, but a uh, gather information roll as well to try and find a good place. Solomon, go ahead and give yourself 24 okay. gold. Uh, gather. Yay. Is Yay. there a macro for this? Uh, it is in the basic action macros under exploration. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Actually, it's, uh, yeah, it's under exploration, not under downtime. Gather. Here we get it. Almost, almost crit succeeded. Almost. I don't want to hear a point because I know I'm going to roll a two or a one. <laughs> 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 All right, very good roll. Uh, yeah, asking around for, you know, low-end cooking jobs. A lot of the higher-ups in Mechatar have their own personal chefs and feasting arrangements. You don't want to find a job that is, you know, catering to these large parties, but uh, looking for sort of, you know, smaller scale, the uh, street carts that are looking for a part-time chef to help out, uh, you do end up finding your way to the Bone Mill, a uh, not run-down, but not super high-class establishment that is a massive uh, ring building, a big circular building, seemingly made entirely out of bone, issuing the sort of bone and brick architecture that the rest of Geb is constructed using for a construction that is somehow perfectly stacked bones. They aren't fused together, they are simply stacked in such a way that the building has put itself together. And on the interior, it's effectively undead hibachi. It's okay. a bunch of uh, sort of ringed chef stations with bar seating outside of them. And people are able to purchase supplies for cooking themselves if they don't have it as well as supplies, or you can bring your own, uh, you know, meats and cuisines as you set up shop. And you just, you know, pay a little bit of your earnings to the actual building owner. You can absolutely earn income here using your cooking lore. 
Uh, we I will like say for this, you're going to be maxed really out at seventh level. Okay. Earning and cut and, here. And for six days? Six days, yep. All right, here we go. Also, I just realized I succeed on a two, so can I actually use a hero point? You really can't hero point downtime activities, especially earn income, because the idea is you can just do it again if it fails. Okay. Um, if it makes you feel any no, better, no. Mahari earns less about half of what you earned. No crit fishing, got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mahari, go ahead and give yourself 15 gold okay. for this six days of cooking. Uh, your profits are definitely a lot lower since you have to purchase the supplies that you're going, the creatures you'll cook, and then also pay a percentage of your earnings to the uh, property owner for the space used. But you do still walk away, having made quite a little bit of coin. Did, also not did. fighting for your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no. Mahari, he is a consummate Gordon Ramsay in the making. All right. Uh, Amira, you said you're going to earn income? Or not earn no. income, gather information? Gather information. Sure. Um, and you do have discrete inquiry, correct? Yes. I would like to spend one day gathering information for right now. Sure. Um, I can... Each gather information is one hour. Um, I'm going to limit so, it to one check here. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's fair. Um but I will likely give more information than normal because of that. That way we're not sitting here just making check after check after check. Yes, I understand. Okay. What specifically are you trying to figure out? Are you just trying to learn about the, the general state of Mechatar right now? Um... What Amira is trying to figure out, she's looking for the differences between this Megatar and the Megatar she knows. <sighs> hmm. This Megatar and the Megatar you remember. There's honestly not many. Um, the main difference, if you'd have to figure out right now, is that the great factions seem to be gearing up for something. Uh, tensions between faction members are definitely on the rise around the city. Go ahead and give me one more uh, gather information roll. Okay. I want to see how this one comes out. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that sounds like I had two bad rolls. <laughs> uh, the first roll was actually pretty good. Second one, not quite as. Word on the street right now, from what you're able to gather with, and this is just a day of looking into it, is that ever since a... Uh, foreign dignitary arrived. Problems have been stirring up with the great factions. Mm. That's all you gather from that. Any information on where the foreign dignitary is from? Who the foreign dignitary is? Nope. You do know they've been here for perhaps six months or so at this point. Okay. Um. Any more checks allowed? Just focusing on the dignitary or second be uh, if you want to spend another day on it you absolutely can this is yeah about what yeah. you're able to gather with one day of effort uh, amira will continue spending days go for it you want to focus Thanks. on this new dignitary with the next day yes yes absolutely that's a pretty good roll okay yeah spending more time uh looking into who this is uh what foreign dignitary there is. How familiar is Amira with the nation of Nemrit Noctoria? <laughs> yeah, no. Um... <laughs> uh, so 
Okay, you can give me a recall knowledge then, if you would like, about uh, that. Even Allie is not familiar. Oh, fantastic. Uh, because the first little bit of info you get is that they are a uh, the leader of Memret Noctoria. Thinking about oh. it, you do you recognize the name Memret Noctoria. Uh, Sumichu talked about them a couple times back when you lived with him way back when now. <laughs> it is a Darklands civilization primarily underneath Osirian. It is okay. the ghoul capital of the Inner Sea. Okay. The leader of Memret Noctoria is a ghoul by the name of Kortash Kane. And Kortash Kane? Mm -hmm. I'll type it up in chat for people. Yeah, thank you. From what you're able to gather with this day of asking around, uh, you know, crashing one or two mid-high society parties, I'm imagining you're not going to, like, the true high society ones that oh, might come yeah. into contact with, like, Sabitu. Yeah, definitely. Or uh, friends of his. But, yeah. you know, because you do have Party Crasher, getting into those mm -hmm. some of those higher ones, um, it seems that for the past decade or so, the normal tithes that Geb sends to Nemret Noctoria and pays them as part of some trade agreement they had... Mm -hmm. have not been paid. Hmm. Geb is just full-on not honoring their trade deals with Nemret Noctoria, and it seems Kortash is here to rectify that issue. And that is what you're able to get with day two. Okay. Um... Yeah, I... Day... Can I continue with these investigations? Yeah, absolutely. Spending more days? Okay. Um, Amira would like, to, would like to find out who is negotiating with uh, Kortash Kane. Like, well, or, or like who he's spending... Well... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's... Actually... I'm sorry, can, can you come back to me in a sure. moment while I think about this? Then, uh, Kashmi, do you have an idea of what you would like to do with these six days or so? Yeah, I'm going to spend income to um, build up my Earth network so that I can get information. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't believe you really need to spend money on that, if I recall properly. Uh, I'll bribe the bitches. <laughs> I want them to like me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if you want to put some of your money into your entourage, you're more than welcome to. Um, and what sort of information would you like them to be gathering for you? Whatever information Amira needs. <laughs> and we're back to you, Amira. Uh, okay, uh, fair enough. Um, uh, I guess the... The current relations of the great factions, um, just, mm. uh, yeah. I'm going to well, ask okay. you to put two days into this, even being able to do it every hour. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because yeah, that is a true. pretty complex topic. Yeah, because, um, uh, I mean, one of the things we're trying to do right now is to get in with one of the great factions so that something like the wedding doesn't happen again, right? Uh, that is something, I mean, knowing Lixel, she will probably try and push you guys to do. Yes. Yeah, so still find well. a faction to back you. Yeah, may as well get started on it now. Uh, real quick, I just want to interject. Mm -hmm. We can't do the celebrants, and we can't do the, um, reanimators. Why can we not do the reanimators? Because Sumitu is trying to take Verlene's spot, so he's going to, I'm assuming, Mahari would assume this, he's going to be, you know, going back and forth with them, trying to curry favor with them. Mm. Um, yeah, that's, that's fair. Can we just take out Sumitu then? Can't. We need him alive. We just need to pretend he's alive. Yeah, but do we, alive. do we need him alive? 
I, like, uh, I, I think we have a lot of time. We literally have 70 years um, before Amira gets shipped off to the torture chamber. Um, so if we want to kill him at some point and replace him with a clone or a fake or whatever, then um, we'll, we have plenty of time to think about that. Maybe we fucking find Lauren and have him make a clone of Samizu for us. <laughs> Oh, I'm um, so sad Aranth isn't here to hear that. Oh, she recommendation. Pissed. I'll uh, uh, I'll leave a message for her. Um, <laughs> Aranth, how do you okay. feel about? Yeah. So for right now, though, let's just get information on the relations of the great factions. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Jericho's humming. An interesting uh, focus of your investigations right now. Oh boy. From what you're able to gather, in general, all the great factions are... Uh, you know, relative great factions. Most of their relationships seem to be about the same as what you remember pre-wedding. You know, there were some changes eventually afterwards, namely with the tax collectors and the celebrants formally allying themselves. That doesn't appear to have happened yet. Here, their relations in Mechatar specifically, from what you're able to gather, have been struggling. From what you're able to find, for the last four months or so, high-ranking members of the Great Factions, all of them, have consistently been going missing. Okay. Um, not like the true upper echelons of the Factions, but those mid- to high-ranking, like, manager-level individuals of the organizations have just every few days or weeks one of them vanishes from public eye uh, and it has led to pretty widespread speculation that there is a sort of shadow war going on between all of the factions right now where mm. they are constantly assassinating each other's leadership there's no proof there's no open knowledge about what's actually going on, but that is the public's deduction of the situation. Yeah. Just send a message in the offer they can't refuse. Okay. Um, well, that is quite interesting. Um... The next question I would like to investigate with my remaining couple of days. Um, okay, so what's the list of the great factions again? Reanimators, celebrants? Mm -hmm. uh, tax collectors, builders, um, and the export tax guild. Okay. Um, then Amira would like to try and find contacts. Uh, not go up and talk to them yet, but find them and... Like, just, you know. Sure, yeah. Uh, sort of get the uh, the message information, you could say, of these individuals. Yes. Uh, I'm going to ask for a gather information from you. I also think this is a good time to bring in Kashmir's Urchin Network and have her role a gather information as well. And Irina, you said we get a pound of flesh from the opponents? Yes. I'll have rations for a while. <laughs> this is true. Okay. I'm so glad I was smart and thought about these things in advance. I am a true gamer. Uh, <laughs> because you do manage to get a contact from each of the great factions between uh, your group's work here. Cool. You have Archmage Verixel of the Builders League, 
There is Mistress Veshka of the Celebrants. There is Commander Rovanath of the Export Guild. There is Orthless the Unmoored from the Reanimators. And there's Lady Talvisa Malbrint from the Tax Collectors Union. One, one question. One answer. Before we, okay, when we were in the future. Yeah. With, with Sumitu, had he, okay, he hadn't become. He was a not blood a bloodlord Lord in the future. No. Um, but was he high up in the reanimator guild? Did we get that information? He has never been officially a part of the reanimators and he wasn't in the future. He okay. was trying to take Berlin's position and ally with them through that, but he wasn't necessarily trying to take the position of a Bloodlord of the Reanimators. He okay. was trying to take Berlin specifically's opening in the Bloodlords. Okay. Um, uh, but he has never been a direct member of the Reanimators. He's been on good terms yes. with them, but not an actual member. So, within the information we've gathered, do we know if anybody knows what happened to Berlin? Uh, oh. If, uh, if if I remember correctly, Lixel in the in the future past, whatever you want to call it, she said that Berlin. Are you asking was... about Berlin right now or Berlin in the future? Berlin right now. Do people know what right now? Do people know what happened to Berlin? No. Okay. That in, that is not public information, it seems. Okay. Um, At least not in the circles you are fraternizing with. Yeah. Um, then I have an idea um, that I will put forward to the party once we uh, kind of come back together. Okay. Um, that being said, I don't... Unless anybody has any ideas, I don't know what... Um... Amira will, with her last few remaining days before the week is over, um, she would like to see if anybody knows anything about um, Crowman. Um, I believe you've gone through the extent of your time okay. right now. Okay, okay, yeah. Because uh, right. finding, finding a direct contact, even with... Kashmi and her urchins helping that's a pretty uh, difficult endeavor Yeah. because I'm also assuming that isn't just getting their names but that's figuring out a general idea of their sort of when I say like their message info I directly mean like getting an idea of their sort of general habits so you'd be able to reach out to them whenever you wanted to Yeah. with a message or an actual like letter um mm -hmm. Now, these contacts that Amira has attained, Jericho, these are like mid-level managers, correct? Uh, yes, that would be... They are mid-upper level. Okay. So... So in, uh, in the area that's been bosses. assassinated? I, I That area and slightly above, yes. Still not quite the, the upper, upper echelons, the leadership, but uh, these are very much like the HR representatives of those okay. factions would be a good way to describe them. So, the idea I have, if we want to start sabotaging some Me Too, go to the Reanimators Guild and be like, hey, uh, well, want to know what happened to Berlin? Um, I, I love I the have... idea, but they're gonna, they will ask, well, how do you know this? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking like, about, like, if I mean, it's possible can... to prove this to them in any way. I still have my well, illegal weapons. We can plant it on him. <laughs> well, I completely forgot you still had the illegal weapons, Solomon. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, no. I haven't had a chance to, I haven't had a chance to get rid oh, of them. Oh, God. <laughs> you... Oh, no, that's a piece of the... Oh, fuck. Anyways, uh, Amira. Yes. So are my hand wraps and everything else I'm wearing. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we we all are. But anyways, Amira, yes. what if we? What if you just plant the seed? You know, we don't have to like actively mm. fuck them over. But if you plant yes. the seed of doubt in the reanimators, they may do business with him, but they'll never trust him enough. Yes. To 
give him any type of, you know, advantage. Or yes, because is. I believe that both Kashmi and I have so rumor. Yeah. Um, Basically, you know, tell somehow tell the reanimators, hey, you know that blood lord that was part of your faction? Yeah, you know that dude, Sumitu, who's like yeah. schmooze with you? Yeah, he, yes. he, he may have had something to do with her. Yes, I, I understand. Um, which, ultimately, it's a matter of when Kashmi and I will have time to start sowing rumors. Okay. All right, well... I believe that does it. And uh, this next day, as you all are sort of prepping your to go about your business, since again, you aren't really sure when Lixor is going to arrive. It is that morning that a recognizable figure pushes open the door to the withered root. Long black hair, pale face, the pointed ears of an Ivarin, sword at her hip. Lixel. Intruder. <laughs> You're in a bar. <laughs> She's not opening the it's doors to your room. It's my bar now. Oh, is it? it it's... It's, Solomon, it's it's our friend. I'm jo I'm, jo I'm joking. He's not gonna. Yeah, Solomon's met her. I know. I know. Every person walks through the bar tackle. <laughs> Are you all down in the bar right now, area? When she um, walks in. That's a. We're expecting we're... her, so Pro Solomon probably would be. Yep, Mahari would um, would be. He's still kind of he's still kind of delirious over the fact that he now knows he has his soul and it's not actually gone. Um, I, his whole life I, has been a gaslight. I know, right? <laughs> Pretty fucked up. I, I don't know if um, Kashmi would want to, but maybe Amir and Kashmi are in the room just spending time together. Not necessarily lewd time, but just, you know. Oh. If you're gonna get kicked out if you do that no, down here. <laughs> that, that's why I said not necessarily lewd time, just... It's just cuddles. Yeah. Uh, nope. Trying to help each other through the fact that their lives are kind of fucked when all they wanted to do was get rich. And party and yeah. do drugs. Yo, PDA, no one wants to see that. What what did you say, Kashmi? Is that too much to ask? Yes. It's really not. No, it's really not. Yes, it is. The over yes, it is. the over god has spoken. Don't worry, Kashmi. We'll we'll find a way. I'm trying to ram this skeleton fairy into this jar, and I just broke his leg off. Hold on a second, oh, no. guys. <laughs> you you broke a living creature's leg off? I mean, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. I thought you were like trying to shove a living creature into a jar. I'm gonna be like, I was like, God damn, you're really getting into the role play. Lixel enters the bar. She sees Amira. She sees Kashmir. She sees Mahari. She sees Aranth. She sees Solomon. She doesn't know who the fuck Solomon is right now, but she sees him. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I don't think we've met yet in this time frame. Nope. Her eyes widen a little bit, seeing you all, seeing you all look unharmed and yourselves. She begins to notice the minute changes, the slight differences in equipment. Mahari lacking the tattoo on your forehead. Solomon. Kashmir, are you corporeal right now or incorporeal? Um, I am super corporeal. Okay. Noticing that. <sighs> uh, 
I would oh, like. Yeah. Let's see. Kajmi, can you roll a flat check for me? Um, yeah. Yeah. No. What does flat check mean? It's just a d20 roll. Yep, I got that. Before you roll, Mahari, yeah. high or low? Hi. Never mind who's rolling. <laughs> then Kajmi may hi. roll. Go say hi. <laughs> Okay. Well. It lingered there on that 19, and I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah, it did. And then it moved the... to ruin your dreams. And you can't, you can't hero point flat checks. Nope. And this is not something you get a hero point from for rolling the one, because this was just for uh, decision-making purposes. Standing in the doorway, she looks at you all, a complicated expression flickering across her face. There's joy, there's relief, but there's also a heavy amount of suspicion and distrust. She does not look entirely happy to see you all as her hand drops to her blade and she just loosens it in its scabbard. Hey, she wants people. to fight. Lixel, I understand this is weird. Trust. It's weird for us, too. Uh, okay. And Solomon. Did, we, yes, that's, that's we Solomon. Get it, we'll, Solomon. We'll, we'll, we'll explain Solomon in, in a little bit. Um, Lixel, we met at blah, 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 blah. Um, and it was your master blah, 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 that um, it went off to his hag loaned, life blah, blah blah blah. Yeah, and and loaned us, um, loaned you to us. Now you full mark? on. I don't want to say purchased her because that creates the wrong connotation. But yeah. you poached her. Yeah. yeah. We engaged in a partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Sonny, bride of the sea. Lixel thing. lost her job and you all hired her. Yeah. Yeah. Poached is a yeah. poached is the right term to use. <laughs> and hunted. It's another good term. Yeah. Uh give me a diplomacy check, Amira. Mahari, if you'd like to aid okay. this, you may. Yeah, I'll I'll attempt to aid. Okay. But... I can't help. It hinders it completely. <laughs> so oh, wow. A minus three to the roll. Just is from that resisting. a failure, Jericho? No, it's a success. <laughs> Eight is still DC 15. Oh, okay. So, so that's just a plus um, one, which Amira's already got. Uh, yeah. I the plus one circumstance bonus. Yeah, pursue elite is plus two. Mm -hmm. And what is okay. your question right now again? I believe it's uh, the Divinity Leech is one of them. And uh, your other... Oh god. We need to like um, pin the message in the Discord. Yeah, we really do. It was, a, it was alliance formation and then the leech, I think. I uh, uh, I think the second lead was something along the lines of figure out exactly oh, why this like what's going on with the time yeah. travel, I think yeah, was yeah, one yeah, of them. Yeah. Yeah, um, exactly. Uh so I don't know if she qualifies. Um, there, she there's arguments for whether or not you get the bonus on Lexel. The thing is, right now, Lixel's only level four still. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> her perception DC and will DC aren't super high. Um, she will slowly let go of her blade, stand up straight, and take a few tentative steps into the bar, looking at you all. Um... And then she's going to rush forward and hug you, Amira. Oh, oh, I... Yeah, yeah, I... Don't know I, I've worried. It looks... I'm gonna... I, I for, like... Yeah, I'm gonna join that shit. Oh, she will absolutely, like, pull you into a... Like, she goes for a whole group hug here. Um, She will oh, try and pull you into it, Mahari. She will try and pull oh. you into it, Solomon. She doesn't know who you are, but... 
but, you I'm know. gonna do like the uh, Mulan Po thing. Just pick up the whole group. Be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Mahari will allow himself to be, you know, drawn into this uh, mariachi band group hug. Mahari's he's... been in a good mood the last few days. Yeah, he he has. He's his soul is still his. According to Aran. Yeah, to him. Aran wouldn't lie to him. Uh huh. Aran wouldn't lie to him. Um, she uh -huh. will let go after a minute or so. What happened? You were that was the that was the fight. You were being attacked. You had me run away. What? I, 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 I couldn't go back, but I saw you all getting taken away. What happened? Lixel, let's head up to her room. And we can talk about it there, okay? She she looks around at the few other people that are up in the morning so far and, like, sending strange looks over at her outburst. Right, right. Sorry about that. I do... I do an intimidate check to be like, mind your own business. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, little bits of meat and throw them at people. Okay. I'm going to hear one bit. Go for it. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Oh, Solomon. <laughs> no. Um. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's, it, it's the friggin' cat oh. girl that has the nastier look. It's, oh, I get the hero point back. You do get the hero point. Uh, it's Solomon, you telling everyone to mind your own damn business, and then, like, Kashmi falling up the, yeah, mind your own damn business, or I'll kill you. No, no, oh, Kashmi's no. would be a very subtle um, raised eyebrows of confirmation. So there's just no confu like, zero confusion. Right. They're all on the that same this page. Is a Correct. Yeah. Uh, seeing that... She's Most the, of that will uh, terrifying, move back down. She's a terrifying presence. I'm just the muscle to enforce it. <laughs> it's a, it's almost an intimidating sight on its own to see people in Megatar hugging so uh, compassionately. That doesn't happen here. So when people see that, they're like, oh shit. I don't want to be near that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're like, feelings. Like, <laughs> Get, get it on you. Get out of here. Right. <laughs> oh, God. Mortal emotions? Ew. Um, so, it doesn't take much to get them to back down. You all have cooties. But you all head back up to your rooms. Uh, you are free to actively say as much as you want, or if you would like to just give some of the primary points of what you are sharing with Lixel. Uh... Since I am not information heavy, can I wait outside the door to make sure no one <laughs> Yeah, if you want to sort of keep watch on everything. Yeah. Make sure no one comes to bother the group. Give me a perception. No one's check listening for that, so. ear at Yeah. No one's ear listening at the door. You're right. Like I'm physically outside the door. Yep. Okay. You are absolutely keeping an eye on things. And um that Solomon, he's my imaginary friend. He's great. Okay, checks out. I like how she just accepted that. <laughs> no deception check needs. No. Yeah, just, just, just believes it. Lixel, <laughs> this Lixel only knows crazy incorporeal cashmere. No, crazy might be the wrong word, but you know, very out there incorporeal cashmere. Loose so, cannon. Yeah. Whatever Kashmi says, she's like, yep, sounds good. Mahari will make his hood disappear and flick his tail around. All that good jazz. Yep. Um, she's definitely going to ask for the whole story. Why is Kashmi corporeal? Where did that tail come from, Mahari? Where is your tattoo? Amira, what the fuck? Yeah, um, Amira will be more than happy to give her the entire story. Where's Sarian? 
Who? He's on extended smoke break in the ethereal plane. Don't worry about it. He's taking care of his kids. What kids? So many, it's gross. Who, who, we can't even talk with? about it. Uh, mm. We looks can't. At a ramp. Mm. Mm. I'm just kidding. I don't look at a ramp. It's been traumatic. We have to leave her alone about it. Yeah, it was. It was very um. There's a long birthing process. It was, it was very emotional, you know. He's not really a man. Are you? The, I think the important thing. Are you sharing with Lixol that you're coming from the future? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> how? How do we share that? That's the important thing. Do we tell her that a that the literal demon lord of Braxis sent us here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It, Amira trusts, especially after seeing her in the future, Amira trusts Lixel implicitly. <laughs> Jericho, stop. Don't do that. No. I am allowed to trust one person. You are absolutely allowed to trust whoever you would like, just as I am allowed to take as much advantage of that as I am welcome to. Yeah. Never mind, that she's got only me. level four. That, 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 that. Uh... Look where look where trusting people got me, Amira. She was only level twelve in the future, so we have to trust somebody. I, I, you know, we trust each other. We trust the members of our pack, oh, of okay, our family. Oh, no, no, no. no, Ali, Ali, I was saying that. I'm sorry, I was saying that above table as a joke. Oh, okay, okay. I'm Mahari. sorry, I didn't clarify that. No, Mahari agrees with me. Okay, well. That is... It's a lot to take in. So... Hey, but good news, you make it. <laughs> uh, good news, you all make it. First and foremost. Okay, so... You all or have been captured. Some definition of you. Oh, sorry. Some, some, you are. <laughs> she like gestures up and down at you all. You are yourselves. For lack of a better term, you are alive. In this fucked up undead way we are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. 100 years. Yes. Yep. I also have to tell you, you look so amazing. Like, you don't age a single day. Thank you for that, Kashmi. You don't look like you've aged a day either. Aside from I mean, the, I... that whole corporeal thing. Oh yeah, check it out. Look at my feet. <laughs> I have to tell you, if the internet was a real thing in this reality, I would make so much money. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Casually, just casually breaking. Is that something from the future? Yeah, it, it's an Etsy it, account. It, it's from other Kashmi. I remember everything now. Everything. Oh. oh. Everything. Did, did you know that my wife was also married to Geb? Oh hey! Oh my god! And like, also, my best friend is the dragon motherfucker who like ruins the world. It's great. Yeah. And... and Solomon has the dragon motherfucker's heart. Mahari's gonna lean over to Lixel and just kind of like just 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 take it all in, take a deep breath. It's and, uh, good to yeah. see, no matter how much time passes, that some things don't change. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then what's the plan from here? Um, follow Thel's body. Oh, hey, Mahari, thank you so much for remembering that. I actually forgot. I went back and looked. The chapel, the whole place had been cleaned up. No bodies were mm. left behind. No bodies? No bodies. Uh, Amira looks I genuinely think... sad at that. Ain't got nobody. 
Um, yeah, but sold. my kid was there. No, no bodies were left behind, but was the place clean, or was it just they took the corpses and ran? Um, kind it, of. The bloodstains weren't cleaned, if that's what you're asking. No. There were still signs of battle, but any corpses were gone. Okay. Um... Uh, so, uh, I'm assuming we've given her the details on time travel rules as well. Um, Amira. So, oh, go ahead. Elixir is not being entirely truthful with you right now. Oh, shit. Um, okay. I'm telling you she's an intruder. Um, she's a fake. Uh, please have her save against that. Interesting. Um, actually, before I do that, mm -hmm. um, could I bond on Mo without it being, like, explicitly hostile? Mm. Actually, no, rather, rather than charm. Sorry, rather than this. Pointed question. Pointed question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go for it. Lixel. Uh, and if you could put the question in chat for me, please. Just the description of it. I need the uh, the ability description. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm. I don't know this. investigator abilities off the top of my head. Hmm. gives you a sorrowful look. Please. Don't ask me that. Um, Amira's gonna get genuinely angry. Kind of stand up and like, jab a finger in her direction, she's going to say, mm. Lixel, we have been through enough bullshit over the past 200 years. You are one of the few people I trust. Please don't change that. What's going on? Does Lixel have a spacious pouch? I'm trying to remember, did Amira, during the wedding fight, I don't believe you gave your spacious pouch to Lixel as she was running away, did you? I don't think so. I don't think that happened. But if you dropped it, she would have picked it up. Just saying. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it depends on whether or not, like, Sumitu or his lackeys would have picked it up. And taken it with. She is going to take the couch at her side reach into it pretty slowly and oh no I think I know what's coming pull out a head, a head. I knew it then another and then another she will keep doing this until she has pulled out Falafel Nabumi, Smyrtlebin, Amira, Aranth, what? Sarian, Sazer, what? and Mahari's heads. 
I'm gonna spit on Slezzer's head <laughs> right in his fucking uh, eye. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Um, Jericho. Yeah. My head. Does it still have the tattoo of his false faith? Ooh, good question. I didn't hear her say she had Mahari's head. She did. That's I did. The last one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It does. It, it's it's basically the symbol of Urgathwa, but with like the teeth and the spikes with coming out. Very of it. mild differences. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This head still has the faith tattoo. Mahari will reach out for his own head. Are you sure you would like to? Mah uh, uh, Amira will kind of reach a hand out and say, Mahari, careful. You, you, you remember what we were told. But there's no life sign on this one. Yeah, that, I just... You are right, Amira. Mahari will pull his hands back and look at Lixel and say, So... Elixir. Yes. Where did you get the heads? Were they found in the chapel, or did someone give them to you? I have met no one since I ran that day. On my way here. So you... These were in the chapel. Um... Amira's going, uh, like if there's like a ceramic cup or something nearby, uh, she's going to pick it up. She has zero strength, so she's just gonna like throw it at a wall right now. What are you th like the cup? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you just you throw a cup at the wall; it shatters. Someone comes bursting in, thinking something's nope. wrong. No, it's, it's... <laughs> you see everyone's heads lined up on a like a side table. We're physically fine, Solomon. Thank you, though. He'll do uh, one scan. Of, he'll do a quick scan of the room, and then he'll slowly shut the door and go back to what he was doing. Yeah. Amira. Mahari. If, if we are, well, we're already dead. If we are destroyed. In season. Well, uh, uh, Amira, this is where I'm going to display once again my ignorance of exactly what we are. But when vampires die, don't, do they turn to ash or do their bodies shrivel? I'm gonna be honest, Mahari, I don't fucking know. Maybe... I... Well, that... I know we were told that we cannot come into contact with ourselves, or ourselves would... If ourselves were to see us, then we would be destroyed. But if we're Hello. dead, then... Just catch me. Do we have any money? There's a coin in the mouth. Whatever wealth you all had was gone. There were pieces of you left behind, but the majority was missing. Um, uh, Amir is going to sit down and kind of like steeple her fingers and do that thing where she kind of looks over it and she's gonna like sigh and lower her head and say i am going to fucking kill lauren if we're clones no no we clearly have you guys clearly have just been raised from the dead i would know you if you were a clone you would taste funny and you taste just fine Amira. Right. Thank you, Kashmi. With uh, a small smile. Uh, Amira. You and Kashmi did some sort of ritual that bound your, I'm assuming, your souls together. If 
we were clones, someone would have had to put your soul back in it, right? Uh, like I said, Mahari, I really don't fucking know right now. This is way above my pay grade. Um, uh, like, can can I do a quick recall knowledge to see if Amira knows anything about what's going on right now? Same. You can certainly try. Yeah, I'm not expecting much, but... Um, yeah, like, is clones a viable option? Would the clones taste funny? I mean, you've never tasted a clone and their regular counterpart before, so that'd be hard to tell. Hard to say. No. You can be pretty certain they'll taste different, though. Uh, you, you know they would taste different. Right, yeah, they, they would certainly not taste the same. Um, no, it would be clinical. Daryl, gross. Fresh out of the cloning process, absolutely. Amira, there's, I mean... <laughs> you know Lauren was making copies of himself. Yeah. Lixel has your heads right here yeah and mentioned pieces of your corpses remaining behind i guess it's a viable possibility but uh, i guess the big question Ugh, fucking i i hate clone bullshit um is it would amira know if we are clones would it be our souls, like, continuation of our consciousness? Or could we... <sighs> you do not know enough about okay. how Lauren's cloning process yeah. worked. That being yeah. the only cloning you've seen before to know how um, it would actively operate, because you never talked with Lauren really about it. Uh, Amira is gonna be like, well, I think I know where I want to go first. I want to go fucking find Lauren. Um, I, would, I would agree with you, but a ranch didn't come today, and so she's just going to have to wait. Um, Amira, yeah. there is a way for us to know for sure if these are us. I'm One not touching them. I'll touch him. Is there a cashmere head? Nope. Nope. No, okay. there is not. It won't work with you, cashmere. It's not your head. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Cashmere, try to use the heart bond. Heart bond, power connect. Yeah. Are you using the ability to learn the present state of the other bonded creature? I am. Yeah. Uh, Amira, you may describe your present emotional state to Kashmi. Um, frustrated, afraid, angry. It, does she only pick up one Amira? Eat that is the only response you get. Um, does... Do any of us remember, like... Okay, so from the wedding to the next thing that we remember, is there a gap? Mm -hmm. You all were knocked unconscious at the wedding after the killing of your friends and family was accomplished and Kashmi was sealed. You all were knocked unconscious. The next thing you remember, Amira, was being at Simitu's place. Okay. Or at least somewhere that looked like it. Yeah. The next thing the rest of you remembered was hard to describe because by that point you had been heavily drugged. Okay. 
Um, well, this is bullshit, and I hate it. Um, thank you, Lixel, genuinely for... Uh, I know this is tough, but this is good. It gives us information about where to go from here. I'm glad. Amira, this does raise a question. Yeah, a lot of questions have been raised recently, but go ahead. Well, if we're clones, then actually that does nev actually never mind. I'll have to reformulate that for later. No worries. <laughs> okay. Um. Is there anything else of import we need to know, Lixel? Anything at all? Have you, well, first question, have you heard anything about Berlin? Or Sumitu, or the Raven asshole, or anybody else that screwed us over? No, I, I wasn't able to track where they went. Afterwards, exactly what happened, I, I have no further information on any of them. Okay. Okay. Did did Lauren do anything at the wedding? What did did he like show up and be an asshole? I forget. I, I would have to did. check. I don't believe he was there though. No, he didn't. Okay. He didn't show up. It was we were all there with everyone we invited. You know, Sumitu and all the other people. Yeah. And then right at the height of the ceremony, after it was over, that's when old Raven Boy showed up and we danced in the pale moonlight. Yeah. Um, Amira is once again gonna hold her head in her hands and say, I, I, I can't believe this, but I think that besides you, Lixel Lauren might be one of the only people on our side right now. Um... Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm just going to ask it. What are we going to do if we are clones? Embrace your new clone life. Fair enough. Uh, I mean... We, we can taste oh, the difference in taste. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if... Uh... I mean, if I am a clone of the original Mahari, that means I don't have to give a shit about what he gave a shit about anymore, and I can just pursue my debased desires as I please. I mean, it... Honestly, it depends on... Is the soul in me right now the same soul as Amira had five if days ago? If only were a Ranth were here. <laughs> I mean, if... Uh... <clears throat> Jericho, can I? I still have the um, blessing of Asafonway, correct? You do. Okay. So we still. Amira, can you still feel the power of um, Asafonway on your being? Let me check my character sheet. I can. Okay. So Absolutely we know. cracked if I just randomly deleted those from your character sheets a <laughs> while ago and you never noticed. Ah, uh, okay. don't do that. Um. Okay, Amira, so we know that we we have been blessed, for lack of a better word, by a deity. That's still here, so we have some type of permanence to work well, with. Yeah, but that was presumably if we are clones after we got cloned. Uh, I mean, yeah, if we're clones, that's, we're going to have to figure that out, but it's not pertinent right now, I don't think. <sighs> um, Amira's... Scratch to begin with. Uh, Amira's doing a lot of thinking right now, and she's gonna say, let's take those heads to Lauren. <clears throat> well, we can't, well, we can't touch them. And... So, Lixel, I can. Would you... Lixel, would you so, please, um... So, no, Solomon can. 
Um, I'm 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 clinging the boomy. His his animal skull. You better shut up. Beautiful. Um. Uh, Amira's gonna know. look look down at, um, you know, Falafel, Nabumi, and um. Look, you can see Martel a mirror Boom. of yourself for once. Oh yeah, seriously. Um, <laughs> Amir, Amira. Hey. Oh wow! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> uh, hey, and she's gonna <laughs> say, just because we didn't see them in the future, doesn't mean they weren't there. If Lauren can clone us. Maybe he can clone everybody else. Why can't we just be resurrected? We're undead, Kashmi. Sure. That doesn't work on us. Yeah, if... Uh, Phrasma would be very upset if we tried to use resurrection. Uh, she's she already upset at you. Let's be I fair. Was just gonna say, uh, yeah, yeah like... we, we've pissed off the Lady Graves. I mean, we can't get much more well, fucked in the afterlife the... than we already are. <laughs> The problem is that resurrection directly goes through Parasma, yes. so uh, she, th- she's not going to let us. Yeah, I think what you were going with is she she will be able to interfere if you try and die and actively resurrect. Yeah. By the way, I don't I don't know if this is going to make a difference because I don't know if anyone's even going to try anything, but I will also be using Uncanny Sense for any invisibility and stuff like that. Perfect. Yeah, um... Wait a minute. Yeah. What's well... That? Okay. When I was turned into... When I was turned by... Necressa, I was just... I was just a regular old... Colo. Like, I, I wasn't a Nephilim. I obviously wasn't a vampire. Those things were just injected into me by her through whatever divine bullshit she used. How would Lauren be able to clone that? We'll have to ask him. Um... Let's say we ask him and he says he can't, but we are still clones. What if we're a product of the Divine Leech? We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll, I mean, like, I get it. It's all fucked up, but we have an objective. Let's focus on that. Yeah, me speculating on it isn't going to help. Um, Jericho, I can still feel my bond with Zonkuthon, correct? Like, it's still there, it's it's just humming away, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're right. Um. So like, soul... you uh, pick oh. up the heads, oh. aside from Nabumi's per se. Uh, I just let Lixel do it. I mean, Mahari originally was going to pick up his own head, but then Amira brought up a very good point. So close. You could have had a real good time if you picked it up. No. Yeah, I would be making a new character. We could have a real good time if you picked that head up. Don't. I, I'm not. The last yeah. time I fell for that bullshit, it summoned Necressa. It could don't be so, so. Don't listen to the siren boy. song, Mahari. I'm not gonna listen to it. Okay, I learned my um, lesson. Interesting and unique moment you would get um, to experience. Stop it, Jericho! Can, can, no can we quick save before we do? Yeah, yeah. Can we? Can we? Uh, scum save? No, you can make a choice. <laughs> Oh, Allie, this is not this is not no, fair. Don't what choice it. That Jericho's All trying to takes. convince Mahari to touch his own head. There's a little touch. 
It's so tempting. It's um, so much good okay, no, no, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna move us on so we can't keep doing this. Amira um, will not allow Mahari to grab his own head. Yeah. It's, it's so, it's Touch so tempting. It's right so, there. No, I Jericho, can... I'm moving on so you can't do this. <laughs> Come Just on. Tap on the door. I will tap say this, Jericho. And... It, it, it is tempting, Jericho. I'm not going to lie. I know. What's up, Solomon? Just tap the door when you want me to come in and collect the heads. I have a pouch. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm rather furiously than tapping it, seeing Mahari yeah. <laughs> looking more and more like he wants to touch it. Um, so... I guess the question is now, um, obviously we want to head for Lauren. Mm -hmm. uh, Lixel said she has no idea where Lauren might be, right? That's good. We want to head for Lauren. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the last time you all dealt with Lauren was when he had kidnapped Ka uh, Aranth and he had his house in lead. Okay. Um... Question for the group, question for Kajmi especially, that, since she'd be the one doing it. Do we want us do a sending to Lauren and be like, hey, truce, can, can we come and see you? Or do we not um, know we're coming? Okay, above table. Shouldn't Nyx be here for this? Uh, yeah, I, I mean... I unless mean, this, any... this is like her whole shtick. Unless anybody has an idea of where else we can go while we're... Oh no, I, I flat out admit I have no fucking... Like, um, I, I got nothing. I, I mean, I don't know what Jericho has planned, but... So much. Maybe, maybe we can sp spend the rest of the session... Uh, okay, no, that's actually a really good point now that I think about it. Before we head for Lauren, we should probably get a backer. Yeah, that was what Lixel's recommendation is, especially if you mention how she acted in the future when you met with her. She would agree with her future self that getting the backing of a great faction is a very smart idea. Yeah. Let's go ahead and that, do that then. So that means we're not going to do that because we don't do smart things. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we talk back Correct to Divinity. Sullivan. And Sometimes hence I have prepared for everything things. you could possibly do except go talk to a faction member. Um, okay, so obviously we want to use Kashmir's Urchin Network to sow rumors about how Sumitu is behind um, Ruin's disappearance. Yeah, Ruin's disappearance. Um, in terms of what faction we want to approach and try to get in with, um, so no celebrants, probably not reanimators. So let, let me scroll up to... You guys were always on good terms with the Builders League. That yeah. was the faction you guys always had the best reputation with. You do know that in the future, the Tax Collectors Union, which is the faction Zithni, the fucker who's drugging your past selves right now theoretically mm -hmm. maybe not if you're clones uh he was responsible for that and he was a higher up of the tax collectors union and then there is the export guild that you guys just generally didn't have a ton of contact with the ones you were in contact with you were in good with because you exposed uh sunny bride of the sea uh sending high-level alchemy reagents under the guise of caviar and managing to pay far fewer taxes on that than she was supposed to. Frickin' IRS. Or more import fees. So, you, I, you were relatively good with the export and very good with the Builders League. Yeah. It, uh, Amira doesn't like the Builders Geek... Builders League <laughs> the on builders video... Geeks. The Builders Geeks. Builders Geeks. The Builders League on an ideological level, but right now she's just like, yeah. fucking. Why? I'm, I'm. If you guys want me to real quick go over the reputation numbers that you technically have right now with the great factions, yeah. uh, you're at negative yeah. three with the tax collectors union. 
Fuck. You're okay. at two with the export guild. You're actually at five with the celebrants, but there's the other issue with them. Uh, you're at six with the reanimators, but that's mostly through Berlin. You're at 11 with the Builders League. You did a lot with them. Yeah, didn't we give them, like, a bank or something? Yeah. You did. When there was the issue with Great Urge Bank, you chose to uh, give it to them instead of the Tax Collectors Union. And then you also helped them out in Sallow Shores. It's probably, well. why you, it's probably, probably why they hate you. The Tax Collectors? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the yeah. Tax Collectors. <laughs> They're taking our money. I agree. Fuck Tax Collectors. Fuck them all the way to the pits of the netherworld. All right, let's stay in Pathfinder mode here. <laughs> I think it's I mean, that in is... the Bible. It references tax collectors being horrible people. <laughs> no, that is that is a Pathfinder. Stay in pa okay, yeah. My That's nice. That's I can share my faith, otherwise it's a hate crime. So, Builders League. Um, okay, our Builders is Arc Archmage uh, Ve Verixel. Yes, uh, Archmage Verixel. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go, uh, say hi to him. Is that what unless everyone anybody wants? else the Builders League? Yeah, unless uh, anybody else has any opinions. Uh, no. The, and he is a what? I'm scrolling up. He mm -hmm. is Mummy. a... Mummy! All right! The best type of undead? Yeah, I don't think we've met with one of those yet. No, we, I, no, we have. Let me kick the ass of two of them. Funny thing is, I almost made Solomon a mummy when I was. Oh, I would have been so him. happy if you did. M mummy. I was still, I was still, I was still new to the archetypes at the time, though. So that's, that's fair. why I didn't pick it. Yeah, mummy is my yeah, we... personal above table favorite type of undead. Yeah. There's, I like mummies a lot. Yeah, we we killed a mummy pharaoh, and then we we kicked the ass of two mummy valets. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, for what it's worth, I I don't think the tax collectors even do a lot of tax collecting. No, they they more but, control the like banks. Like in spite of their name, yeah. Um, really, the main ones who would actually be doing taxing is the export guild because yeah. they tax There's imports and exports tariffs. Yeah, if they're in charge of the banks. That means they're still really evil. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but <laughs> okay. Um, Builders League then. All right, let's let's. Um, Amira, do you want me around for this? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, we all got to be in this together. I mean, hopefully, if we get in good with the Builders League, then that should insulate us from anything that Necressa or the Celebrants want to do. Okay. We are a family. We're a pack. We do it together. Okay, Vin Diesel. Family. Family. <laughs> I'll and, start uh, with that or I will eat you. I believe that is where we're going to take a quick break. Okay. So stand up, stretch, grab some water, do whatever it is you need to do, and I will see you all in a few minutes. Welcome back. So, the goal, if I am understanding correctly, is to make contact with... Archimage Verixel of the Builders League here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Are, do you wish to meet them in person, or are you going to try and get their attention elseways? It's a great question. Um, is there any reason we wouldn't want to meet them in person? Question to Jericho and my friends. I'd basically ask, hey, how uh, secretive are you trying to be these days? Yeah, pretty secretive. That's true. Yeah, I would agree with Amira, secretive. So maybe, like, contact him in such a way of, like, hey, we're looking to do business slash find a patron yada 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 how can we prove that we're worth your time well we already have a good reputation with them so i don't think we'll need to prove they're worth their time it's just going to be more 
uh, like, hey, we have some problems. Should, should we open with we have problems? Mm. No. Okay. Why not? I uh, I think, um, just putting this out there as an option, we message them like, hey, it's us, the people that have 11 reputation points with you. Um, can you please meet us here in this, you, you know, like, private location? Yep. Um, this dark so we alley. Can, so we can talk about advancing our relationship. How do people feel about something like that? I'm game. Let's do it. Meet me in the dark alley. Exactly. I said Nothing that. bad will happen to you, I promise. So, as the day continues into late afternoon, you all make your way uh, generally in the direction of Thanathotmos, which is the Builders League headquarters here in Mechatar, a massive construct. People aren't really sure if it is the active skeleton of some ancient being from the Thousand Year War, or if it is more a construct that Bone has been infused into. It is a creation of blackened iron and ivory. Uh, this massive circular or uh, I should say rounded, almost like a coiled snake rib cage with a head not unlike a dragon's skull, but with notable differences in the shape that act as the primary building. The uh, rib cage area acting as the main offices of the Builders League there actual members, whereas the skull is where business is taken care of, where important people are met and decisions made. Hanging out on the streets nearby, you do catch sight during late afternoon of the Archmage himself, a tall, gaunt figure uh, robed in what looked to be bandages made out of charcoal and ash, as opposed to actual cloth. A hood of this fabric as well seems to cover what face he may have, as opposed to any bandages hiding out as well. What bits of flesh you can see almost look to be made of wax. This figure is walking with a small contingent, seemingly uh, muttering quietly towards or with them as they are heading back to Thanathotmos from uh, one of the Alcazars, which are these uh, pyramid structures. And he's actually heading back from this one that I pinged as you all are able to uh, get him in, in sight and send a message, if you would like. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What exactly are you stating in your message to the Archmage? Uh, I know where you but... sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Solomon would do that. Putting this <laughs> forward as an option... Um, you know, it is the uh, faction, the uh, Kalak Manor faction from Great Urge. Um, we would like to discuss furthering our relationship with the Builders League. How's that sound for everybody? Great. Yeah, I can get behind that. I don't understand a word of it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's just like, let's go. It's go time. No, I'm fine with it. All right. Send the message forth, having it enter into the Archmage's head. And they stop walking. They don't turn or look at all, but 
who is the one sending the message? It Me. Would... Yeah, she's <laughs> Kashmi is the only one with message. So. Uh, oh wait, no, she doesn't. Even... Oh. Kashmi does not okay. have message. Oh, I forgot. Oh, Aranth has message. <laughs> okay. It's a rant. It's a rant. Then a rant would be the one to receive the message in response and share it with you all. Uh, as the Archmage states, I was under the impression that you had met a rather unfortunate ending. So We're some back. people believe that we are here. And we our deaths were great. Oh. Our deaths were greatly exaggerated. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, unironically, our deaths were greatly exaggerated. You can come to my office. We shall speak further. Hmm. And he will just. Continue slowly heading back towards Thanathotmos. Let's go. We're just gonna follow him? Um. Or should we, like, you know, let him, you know, keep moving and then, then go to his office? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably, like, I'll let him get there. And then go while keeping an eye out. Sure. He heads into the skull through uh, the open sort of eye socket doorway as the skull is uh, half buried in the ground. Um, as you follow him in after a few minutes, you find yourself in a relatively wide open lobby space. There are a few uh, groups of people conversing quietly with one another. There are a couple others being pretty loud, uh, making a clamor. There is a large desk where there are currently three secretary uh, skeletons. Uh, two of them seem pretty busy at the moment, but there is one that does not seem otherwise occupied at the moment and is just sort of Black standing guy. straight, head facing forward. A quick kind of uh, backtrack real mm -hmm. quick. Um, yeah. When they were having their reunion at the tavern, did I oh, see yes. or anybody was uh, eavesdropping? No one appeared to come try and eavesdrop that you took notice of. Uh, paying close attention to the surroundings, there weren't any deviations in the air around you that would belie invisible creatures moving and not taking any sorts of precautions you're pretty darn certain no one tried to eavesdrop on you. Okay. Because I figure best not to spread the word that we're out right now. I figure, yeah. Eyes everywhere. <laughs> Literally. I just say it like that. Amir's a spy! <laughs> she has eyes it's in the back of her head. It's been me all along. Here's the, the real question. Betrayal. Which of the uh, players have I been messaging on the side? All of them. To actually yeah, yeah, them. everybody. <laughs> Just I'm the everyone. second suicide. I'm the second suicide bobber. I, <laughs> oh, that would be such a twist. Anyway, moving on from that, before we dig deeper. Why do you think, every, why do you think everything's stitched together? <laughs> Oh. You guys have entered the lobby of Thanathotmos. Um, Mira will go up to one of the secretaries and. Sure. You go up to um, the one unoccupied skeleton. Yeah. Um, probably we're using our uh, masquerade scarfs right now. Oh, do you all have one? Um, I believe I so. I don't, but I don't well, need one. Yeah, he doesn't need one. I know Mahari has one. I've had one for a long time. You've had one for a while. I think me too, right? Uh, you do have one, yes. What's up to the skeleton? I want information. Who is number one? 
Uh, we are number one. Yeah, Welcome sorry. to Thanathotmos. What brings you here today? Wow. Hunger. We have an appointment with Archmage uh, Varexel. There is no appointment with the Archmage on the books for today. Um. The, uh, uh, um. Does the Builders League like bribes? The, does the mirror know how <laughs> Builders League people <laughs> respond to bribes? That, that's more when on. You're a, asking a, her. That's on a case by like that's a person to person basis. Uh, the Builders League itself doesn't necessarily. They would probably be the faction that doesn't approve of bribes as much simply because they are quite secretive. So mm. knowing that someone amongst their number is taking a bribe would probably okay. lead to that person getting removed yeah. and or executed. That doesn't mean there the, aren't corrupt members. Yeah. Then, then Amira... Oh, go ahead, Solomon. I want to say our meeting is off the books. Yeah, and, and Amira will lean in and say, come on, you know how Archmage Vexrill has these off-the-book meetings. I am going to laugh if these are like the most straight-laced undead. These are automata. Undead. Oh, okay. <laughs> these are um... mindless secretaries. <laughs> so, in response to that, he's just like, the Archmage is not known for accepting off-book meetings. Please hold for one moment while I contact the Archmage. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, quick perception check, looking for anybody, uh... Sure. I always, like, paying like... attention to your group. Yeah. Give me that roll. There are a, a few small contingents of people you notice that are looking in your direction. It's less of a recognition and more of just an inquisitive glances yeah. being sent your way. Like, oh, who are these people? Who are, who are these people? Doing? What are they Which here for? Yeah. No meeting has been approved. Please, follow me. The skeleton will just walk out from behind the long counter, um, press on the uh, wall in one area, and the wall will swing open as a hidden door, and he will just begin walking down the hall. Okay. okay. Follow after. Yeah, follow. The wall swings shut behind you all, leaving you all in uh, this not dark hallway. It's actually lit pretty well with uh, Everlight crystals at set intervals. Um, but the skeleton leads you down a couple hallways, uh, down a few flights of steps, before eventually arriving at a solid iron door. And he will. Archmage, your visitors have arrived. Come in. And the skeleton will just pull the door open and hold it for you all. I'll enter. Mm hmm. Okay. Just following the group. Yeah. The skeleton will shut the door behind you all as you uh, find yourself in a relatively spacious office, but sparse at the same time. Uh, there aren't really bookshelves or anything. The walls themselves are lined just with these uh, runes that are pulsing gently, casting this faint blue light that sort of dances around the room. There is a massive onyx table 
that dominates most of the center space um, with uh, what looks to be the skeleton of a merfolk perfectly spaced atop it. Uh, many of the individual bones giving off a faint glow. On the opposite side of the desk, or the table, is that same figure that you all saw walking Archmage Verixel. Well, you have my attention. Uh, are there chairs to sit in? No. <laughs> um, uh, Amira will. Uh, she she'll like put on the kind of personality she expects this guy wants, like serious, business like. Um, and she'll say, "So, you heard about uh, what happened at the wedding, then?" Information has circulated about a group of unbacked individuals making a few too many enemies. Yes, that's... that's what we're here for. We made a serious mistake by not having a backer, and we paid the price for it. So, since we have done much for the Builder's League over our time in the political scene of Geb, we were hoping that we might be able to advance our relationship and come something more official with the Builder's League. To ensure my understanding is proper, it is not that you wish for membership but protection and support of the League? Um, that's a great question. I assume that's something we would have been able to ask each other before coming here. Yeah. Um, do we want to join the Builders League or just, like, seek aid from them? Um, um, my plan had always been to not join up. That being said... Sure hasn't worked out real fucking well for us. So I am a hundred percent down for whatever you recommend based on your experiences in Mechatar. Are the fleshmongers like a branch of the builders? It seems like they'd be very similar. The fleshmongers don't exist right now. I mean like in the future, like where uh, they can. In the future, the fleshmongers were their own faction. So there are the five great factions of Geb, but there are numerous smaller factions that are also fighting for power and to even become great factions themselves. The Fleshmonger okay. Federation was one of those. Solomon, at this rate, you're going to be the one that starts the Fleshmongers Federation? <laughs> Plot <laughs> twist. That's Anyways, been in my notes um, as a possibility for a while now. <laughs> Not so, joking. Uh, you don't need I mean, brains to start an organization, yeah. just a loud so, voice. So, qu a question, Jericho. If if we become a member of the Builders League, I'm assuming that will come with some type of responsibility because we now represent them. Most likely. We'll okay. also probably put limits on your actions. Mm. But would it give us... Would it give us a greater form of protection if we were official members of their faction? It could. I vote just for support. Yeah. Okay. An official member would basically mean you're getting hired by them. Whereas support is more they're sponsoring you. Yeah, I'd rather be a sponsored freelancer. If possible. Make, set our own work hours, you know. Yeah. Okay, so work from basically. Home. Just 1099 yeah. me. Um, yeah, then... Amira will say, we were thinking that we could remain independent contractors, though the Builders League would have first dibs on our services, and we would not ever work against the interests of the Builders League. 
Interesting. And these services that the League would get first pickings on. What Dead does it provide? Part time stripper, and I do hair. Dead enemies. Problem solving. Uh, wet work, I believe. Some people like to call it. You have heard of what we did to the Coven of Hags? We can do that to anybody that you wish to not stand in the way of the Builders League. Perhaps there is room for negotiations, after all. The future arena champions. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, body disposal is part. It's part of the deal. Don't have to worry about cleanup. We do it ourselves. What sorts of support are you looking for to get out of this deal? That is also a great question. Um, I, I uh, so I'm kind of thinking aloud here. Um, probably. Well, don't we just organize hits on us? <laughs> well, we want protection, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just thinking about exactly how that protection is going to look. Like, probably just, you know, can use their safe houses. They will keep an eye out and alert us if they hear about any plots against us. Um, does, in does anybody else have any ideas on that? Retaliation if somebody does come after us, like from one of the other factions. Retaliation sounds... That's, that's good that's the biggest um i'm not sure what the word is for it the thing that prevents action is threat threat of retaliation like oh cra deterrence, yeah deterrence yes. because basically like oh they're part of this faction if they're gonna follow up if we do something to them then we might want to think twice about doing something to them you know yeah mutually assured destruction freaking these factions are like mob families yeah yeah kind of yeah Welcome Basically. to Geb. We love it here. <laughs> a, a, a big part of Amira's backstory is that she honestly fucking hates it here. Wishes she didn't have to do this kind of shit. Honestly, Solomon just wishes somebody would try something, but for the group, it would be rich. <laughs> it just wants to go down swinging. Yeah, is that what Mahari Cat is, too? <laughs> Well, Mahari, now that he has his soul, that he knows he has his soul, he wants to complete the bargain with the Braxis, and after that, he, I don't know. Uh, well, then, yeah, putting all that together, uh, that's what Amira will say, like, um, you know, ability to use safe houses or, like, take shelter with the Builders League, um, y you know, information, you know, if they hear anything they alert us and uh retaliation like uh, in whatever form the builders league can provide whether material or financial so we wish to make use of our resource network as well as our name mm. that would not be impossible to arrange We will, of course, not expect the Builders League to put everything on the line for us, but what is commensurate with our services? Of course. Well. I think it's safe to say that your offer has interested me. Uh, 
uh, Amira is doing her best to not like seem like a nervous wreck right now. Uh, I would like someone to give me a diplomacy roll. Anyone else who would like to aid that roll may do so. I'll do the diplomacy. <laughs> no! Yes, Solomon. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, um. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and aid here. I guess. Where's Bonnie? Were you rolling to roll or rolling to aid there, Kashmi? I was rolling to aid, um, but if I need to roll to roll, I can. For those watching, the joke is I've got plus one to diplomacy. Oh, I know. We know. Believe me, I know. I said, I said to those watching that you guys, you guys obviously know. I think um, everyone's well aware oh. of bad diplomacy right now, Solomon. Like and subscribe. What'd you say? I don't think anyone would be surprised that you have bad diplomacy. Oh, uh, it's, for those who, it's for those who skipped okay. the first episode. <laughs> Before I re-roll, can I ask, is that a standard success? What the that A is that's a crit standard success. success. Okay, I'm I'm not we've seen how hero point re-rolls can be. I'm not risking it. Okay. Yeah. Official decision has been made to leave. Would you like to re-roll it just to see? No, do it. don't do it. Do it. It's just um, for funsies. Uh, God, it's going to be a nat 20, and then I'm going to feel so fucking bad. Yes, yes it is. It is, it is. <laughs> it is. That's why you should do okay. it. <sighs> okay. Hope it see, work. see, see? I knew it. I knew it. It didn't even That's change it by much. <laughs> That's twice that it's been lower. <laughs> At an already low roll. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. I went, I went from a 4 to a 2, you went from a 4 to a 3. <laughs> Never re-roll on a 4. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, they changed that. I hate this. What the fuck? It's disgusting. <laughs> I just know how to flush after you've had a shot. Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. Hmm. Uh, as you said, this would be a working relationship. Yes. You do work for us, and in turn, you receive support. Yes. And I we would... Be will oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. We would be willing to do work for you right now if you had anything for us. It's good to hear. Very, very good to hear. How aware are you of situation in this city. I know your struggles occurred not too long ago. We are aware of the issue with the ghoul nation and that the great factions have been on edge because of it. Then this shouldn't be terribly difficult for you to look into. After all, a few of my compatriots have gone missing these last months. The other factions, of course, have been losing members as well to likely the same phenomena. Resolve it. And, if possible, find out what other targets the other factions are on the list for. Any information that would be beneficial to us would be deserving of a greater reward and greater sponsorship 
I would say. Um. Does that sound amenable to you? Amira will nod before saying, how much blood should or can be shed? You just see a very white smile. <laughs> very well kept teeth for a mummy. <laughs> Understood. Owen will match the grin. <laughs> so will Mahari. Oh, his teeth are much bigger, probably. Uh, 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 Amira will turn around, smile at um, Solomon, and say, Well, you finally get to kill something. What? However many rivers of blood must be spilled. Make sure they run deep. Um, Finally. One who Wick, understands. Wick sense motive. Go Specifically, I'm trying to see if he's like trying to throw us under the bus right now. <laughs> uh, use us as, you know... Uh, scapegoats? Disp disposable mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Nazis. Hey, if I, get, if I get to kill something, I'll eat the bus. I don't care. Part of accepting sponsorship from any great faction means that there is always the chance that if you go against their interests, they will abandon you. Yeah. However, amongst those that have in the past, the Builders League ranks among the more trustworthy of those. As long as you aren't going against their interests, if you have an agreement with them, they will stick to it okay. by the letter. Uh, lawful evil. So, they will not throw you under the bus as long as you don't make things difficult for them. But the moment you do, all agreements are void and be certain they will have kept records of what you have done for them and they will use Ah, the bureaucracy. But that's, that would be with any faction. So. He does, Verixel here does not appear to be trying to set you up in any way. He he comes across as a very uh, down-to-earth, business-oriented individual. Uh, very much someone who does not tolerate mediocrity, so whatever needs to be done, just make sure it gets done. And done yeah. well. He uh, won't say it aloud, but he's definitely hinting at feel free to not leave any survivors, even ones that could be construed as innocent. Um, last hey, question. Stealth just, means, oh, no, stealth just means there's nobody alive to see you. Um, last question that I guess doesn't have to be asked to him directly. Mm -hmm. um, should um, like, how much can this be traced back to the Builders League? Like, what, will they be upset if, like, everybody knows it was the Builders League, or...? In some situations, oh. our name would be beneficial to keep attached. In this case, I would advise against it, though. After all... I do want whatever their targets and the other factions are. If we can prevent them from tracing that information to us afterwards, all the better. Wants to see I mean, discreet, basically. Yeah. Good news, we're already fucking dead, so. Mm -hmm. It will be discreet. Yeah. 
Yes. Swell. I think you'll find most people you'll come across are dead. <laughs> if they aren't, they will be. Well, he will uh, pull one of the mermaid bones off the table and uh, just sort of play with it in his hand for a moment before tossing it over to you all. A personal sending, Loon. Use that to contact me when the job is done, and I'll arrange another meeting. I assure you that the compensation will be more than satisfactory. Should we, should we run into contact with any other builders? Is there any way that they would know we are on this mission for you? Once the partnership has been huh? finalized, you won't have to worry about running into any other builders in the future. As of now, if you come across any, and they get in your way. That just means any secrets they were keeping will go to the grave with them. Uh, in her heart, Amira really doesn't like this guy. <laughs> but... Talman loves this guy. Yeah, so does Mahari. This guy is straight to the point. Protect our interests, murder everybody there, get get rewards. What's not to like? Uh, is that meant to be a sense motive on this guy, Kashmi? No, I just want to disbelieve. <laughs> <laughs> Very valid at this point. There's no illusions here. I'm just checking. <laughs> Rolls in that 20, it actually does change. Oh, shit. <laughs> we're still... We're still... Yeah. We're still... Like, I really hate black. this guy. You're doing a really good job, Jericho. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Why? He's a cool dude. Uh, yeah, what's not to like about him? Uh, Amira doesn't like him because this is the same kind of fucking person she's been having to deal with in this god's damn country for her entire life. Um, so okay, so... So, no, that's ghouls. Remember, ghouls aren't people. They have no rights. <laughs> okay, so it's, now, it's not... Apparently. So he's, it's not him as a person, it's more of this type of individual. Yeah. You're, you're just sick of it. Yeah. She's okay. been sick of it for a while, but... Yeah. Hey, you know what you and Kashmi could do at the end of this? Instead of getting the stuff you asked for from Abraxas, ask to be made living again and leave Geb. You no, can no. Live, You can live great lives outside of Geb. So, here's the thing is that Amira is driven by spite. Like, she knows, theoretically, she could just leave this country and live a good life outside of it, but uh -huh. she's... she's too... she... yeah. Hard-headed. She, she is hard-headed, driven by spite. Stubborn. I'd be damned if somebody tells her she can't be the Queen of Geb. Exactly. I'm not endorsing this if I get my old body back. Solomon, if you get your old, your old body back, there's going to be other things you have to worry about. Yeah, like all of all of the gods trying to gun your ass down. Well, it didn't work before, so. Remember that Amira is the hypocrite who's like, Geb sucks because powerful people can victimize people beneath them with no consequence and then she uses her power to victimize people beneath her with no consequence so well i think you're getting plenty of consequence <laughs> well <laughs> uh, i mean like w when we ate those adventures that, that that's that's the kind of thing i mean welcome to jared um, consequences that's just called adventuring. Hey, hey hey you know here's the thing there's consequences but we don't care I mean, we're, we're undead, baby. What do we care? 
a, 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 a mirror kind of character. So she was you... doing. Go ahead. <laughs> she was doing so well. <laughs> the family was doing well. She was getting married to Kashmi, and then it all went to shit. She spent well, oh. so much time building it up. Still did get married, so you got that at least. But you know, Smee sure did step back. I think you cared a lot, Mahari, when you didn't think you had a soul for an extended period. That's because he thought he didn't have his soul. Well, but now he believes cared, he did, yeah. didn't you? What, that I didn't have my soul? Yeah. Consequences. Well, that's because he believed he would face oblivion if he was destroyed, but now he believes he has his soul, so he'll, his soul will go on. My God, I fucking oh, love you so God. much. I love you. <laughs> Copywriting son of a... <laughs> YouTube, no. It was, all, it was too off-key. That True. was really rude and hateful. I thought it was beautiful. Oh, that's My heart Mahari is going to go show. on. <laughs> what? Wait, what's Mahari in a nutshell? Rude and hateful. Rude and hateful. <laughs> I thought that was the party as a whole. No, no, uh, that's that. Rude, here, here, I'll uh, no, you know, I think you could describe Except for Kashmir. as many people. Except Kashmi. She's too much Aww. of a marshmallow. Thank you. I think she, she just internalizes become, the hate. Oh. She's become pretty hateful recently. Kashmi uh, no, affectionately. Kashmi no, is, is like this. It's like this. She's a sinister, chaotic cinnamon roll she's mush <laughs> she's all she's all nice and warm until you piss her off and then she just obliterates you with her imagination case in point all the natural Surprise. sweaty on imaginary weapon she's still gonna kill you your cinnamon rolls she's still gonna kill you with a freaking rainbow don't even try to sh don't even try to change that fact yeah that's true <laughs> Are you perhaps done with your conversations, or are you going to keep bickering amongst yourself in my office? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yep, yeah, we're we're leaving. We're leaving. We're we're gonna go kill some wolves. Invite me when we the job is finished. Wolves. Everybody's so fucking rude here. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all in the name of efficient of efficiency. <laughs> Now we just well, go I mean, fighting random people on the street until we find somebody guilty, right? I don't think that's how that works, Solomon. Sure, that's what he said. Yeah. No, 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 no. He said to go find them. He didn't say go start grabbing random people and beating the ever-living shit out of them until you find them. Well, we have to start somewhere. We'll, well eventually yeah. get to them. Solomon. We'll eventually Solomon. get to them. Okay. <laughs> As... This is all... With our telepathic bond going, I'm not saying he's this not, out loud. He's not. He's not actually saying it. Just, just me. I don't care. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> believe me. Mahari is all for the violence and the pain and the torture, but we need to be discreet. Unless we're just saying kumbaya, let's go out in a blaze of glory. Uh, not oh. yet. Uh, uh, Amira has people she needs to kill. Got it. <laughs> Um, so if we find someone we know is guilty, I'll find out. it's okay. it's hands time. Yeah. And Kashmi, Kashmi's, Kashmi can't go out in a blaze of glory. She'll just reimagine herself and pop back into reality. Um. Okay. So, Urchin Network and Amira gather information. Uh, party pressure. Um. I guess the information we want is find out where Mister Ghoul King is. Um. And then. Uh, Cortash sort of King, King gotta though. remember that name. Um, what kind of forces he has. Like, what kind of guards he has. Um, I mean, like, why are we searching for a ghoul king? I thought we were just looking for disappearances. Yeah, well, that that would oh, be okay. too. No, I, sorry, I you're right. My assumption was it's the ghoul king, but we don't know that for certain. You're right, I apologize. I mean, to be fair, it started about two months after the ghoul king arrived. Yeah. yeah, to that's, be fair, it's just because Amir, it's because Amir is racist against oh. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, so I guess the investigation is find out 
you know, about the disappearances, commonalities. I mean, you could definitely go try and talk to the Ghoul King if you wanted oh, to. Oh, yeah. Um, that would go over well. Uh, let's not alert him to the fact that we're possibly on his trail. Yeah, especially if it's who I think it is. No, we <laughs> we know who it is. It's something Kane. Uh, Karta Kortash, Kortash Kane. Kane is the ghoul king. Um, okay, yeah, so are we free to start gathering information on that? On the disappearances? That's what everyone wants to do, absolutely. Well, I mean... Um, Mahari's not very good at that. Well, yeah, that's... We, we'll, me and Kashmi will gather the information, and then you and Solomon will bust in and kill people. For the bodyguards like... so nobody gets kidnapped again. Yeah. Um, but while we're doing this, what, sh what should Lixel do? Uh, help us with the gather information? Okay. Uh, I mean... If, if nothing else, if she's going to be, like, a badass, like, organizer in the future, then Amira needs to start, like, apprenticing her. Precisely, how to take a punch. Come here. I guess that is something we need to think about as well. You're thinking uh, about things? Say, say again, Jericho? You're thinking about things? Amira always thinks about things, just sometimes her thoughts are wrong. Just like mine. <laughs> okay. So, Amira and Kashmi are going to be gathering information. Mahari and Solomon, what are the two of you doing? Is... Escort. Escorting them. Good old guard duty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm not. I'm not talking for Mahari. Oh no! I was. I was. I was going to ask like, how long is this going to take? Um, great question. That is a good question. Better not interfere with my. Better not interfere with my match. We won't interfere with your match. I don't know why my brain fell out of my head when you said that. And I forgot you meant the Deathless Arena, and I, I could not tell you why my brain went like this, but I was like, you're in the middle of a league <laughs> match right now? <laughs> that comes later. That, 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 that is offensive to accuse someone of I know. League. I don't know how my brain fell out of my head like that, but that was just what I immediately thought. I was like, why are you playing League during Pathfinder? Stop it. Until my new computer until my new computer shows up, I don't think I'd be able to run both at once. <laughs> I truly don't. Um so All time right. to roll those checks? Yes, go ahead and give me those gather information checks, Kashmi and Amira. Okay. I should be able to use super taster. Um, Are you gonna be what? licking people for information? <laughs> Even by That's a also earn income. Her name comes using a super taster. Just, I mean, I just licks everything. Ugh. Some people are into that. Oh, I know. I am. Believe me. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I was say. Damn. Yeah, my. Keep your PDA to yourself. <laughs> uh, there's a reason we got two rooms at the end. I'm just like. You guys sleep in separate rooms? From you? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Probably, we're having a fight for two rooms. <laughs> probably three rooms for a ransom staring to. No, they can sleep downstairs. They didn't even show up. True. They don't get rooms. I have to deal with my snoring. You guys refuse to pay the rent for nights. Characters aren't here. <laughs> That's right. Go sleep on the floor. The hallway is what's best for you tonight. I have to deal with Mahari and Solomon snoring. I know, them. right? We're just, we're just like. <sighs> okay. That'd be great. Asking around. And. There's not a ton of information you're able to 
easily find. There's a lot of rumors. There's a lot people are talking about, but it's a lot of conflicting information. Actually mm. sifting through the rumors and getting to the heart of the issue takes time. Thankfully, both of you can gather information much faster than others. Yeah. And you have an urchin network helping you. Got that urchin network. There is... In a number of places where these officials were last seen, or at least nearby, there are symbols carved into the walls or painted on them. Now, there is there is graffiti everywhere in Mechatar. People do it all the time. It's just a part of living here. Everyone at least six times gets drunk or high at night and does something untoward to an unfortunate building. It just happens. Leroy was here? Yeah. Like, weird symbols, um, you know, phrases, chunks taken out of buildings. There's more than one building that has had a brick replaced with a lump of flesh. By someone <laughs> thinking it's a funny joke. I mean, yeah, kind of. They freak Fucking food. teenagers. Right. They even, like, put more mortar around it to get it to, like, actually fit. It's annoying to replace, let me tell you. The walls bleed, and nobody enjoys it when that happens, except the vampires. Because then it's just a public fountain. Yeah. yeah. Anyways... Mirrors over there with their super taster. Um, those are Amira's life. favorite parts of the city. Yeah. Yes. Amira has probably encouraged people to do it while drunk or high on more than one occasion. Okay. Amira, you bad influence. Okay. On the oh, four Sorry. most recent missings, the, the four most recent people to go missing... Uh, Amira, you notice the same symbol nearby. Mm -hmm. It is a left-facing crescent moon with what looks to be three claws of differing uh, sizes protruding to the right mm -hmm. with a then spike pointing directly downwards out of the last one. Uh, recall knowledge. Go for it. You do not recognize this symbol. Could I do a recall knowledge as well? Sure. Okay. Uh, How about me too? Go for it. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting, for sure. Give me one moment here. I'm doing my best to pull up my info. I'm suffering. Have you considered not suffering? No. I, I have not. Say that, so. Okay. Uh, that is what I needed. I should have put these in my written notes earlier. Kashmi and Mahari. You both believe this symbol belongs to a different demon lord. Oh boy. Really? Would zombie lore be applicable for this? It would not. Okay. Then yeah, I'm not even gonna bother making a check. <laughs> Which uh Who would like their answer first or their info first? I'll take mine. Okay. Uh Mahari, you are fairly certain that this is the symbol of the demon lord Sifkesh. Okay. The Lady of Heresy, the Sacred Whore, the Whispered Doubt. 
a demon lord who takes great, great pleasure and ambition in fracturing someone's faith, corrupting people, witnessing the moment when a corrupted priest realizes how far they have sunk. She is an individual who drives people in power and revels in driving people in power to suicide, damning their souls forever to her abyssal realm. Damn. All right. That, uh, that's very on brand for a demon lord. Cash me. You see this symbol, and you go, Oh, that's the demon lord Cabriri, him who gnaws, the lord of ghouls. The demon lord of ghoul kind. His entire doctrine is about the consumption of flesh. He doesn't have much description to him because he really and truly is the lord of ghoul kind. Most every ghoul there is worships Cabriri. Because he is the lord of consumption. That which eats everything. It's Mahari's thing. Um, what what was the first uh, one? Sifkesh, S I F K E S H. Hmm. Okay, one of us succeeded. One of us critically failed. Yeah, my wife doesn't like ghouls, so I think it's your thing. Would. A mirror with her role be able to rule out either one of those? Unfortunately, no. Yours was quite poor, Amira. Uh, uh, demon lords are not your forte of knowledge. Fair enough. Is this something Aranth could roll on if she was here? <sighs> Why do you have to be smart? Come on. Where's the fun in that? I, mean, I feel like this is something Aranth would know. You roll for her. Yeah. She's a smart girl. She is really smart. She it is her is, one thing. She is also, unfortunately, untrained in religion. What about oh, Therian? Is he good for anything? No, uh, we know no, that. He's... I know. Fucking <laughs> uh, Fucking ethereal plane. Uh, technically, Sarian is expert in religion, actually. Um, could Therian maybe pull his head out of his ass and help us this one fucking time? For once in his life. For once in his life. Therian, if you ever watch these videos, we are allowed to shit talk you. It's, your fault. it's been months. I have been I you know nothing it. but fucking patient. I think he's already aware. Sarian, you know, popping out of, uh, wherever it is he is right now to provide an answer with um, classic Sarian uh, attempt or perceived superiority in his voice uh, is fairly certain this is the symbol of Demon Lord Cabriri. Hmm. All right, so we're going to stick with Cabriri. Okay, well, I, 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 Okay, so we have the demon lord of ghoul kind symbol where there's been disappearances. Here I go. Um, yeah. From what Amira and Cash being able to gather, the Ghoul King has been here for two months. Kortash Kane has been here for six months, and the disappearances have been going on for four months. And he's still here. Yeah, he's still here. Uh, Amira, with your uh, 
recall or not recall knowledge, just gather information you did on him, you would even know where he's staying right now because that's not really secret information. Uh, Kortesh Kane is staying in Coffinstone Manor in one of the Algazars in the city. Okay. And we know that his kingdom is underneath um, Geb. No. Underneath Osirian. It's... Okay. It's under... yes. It is in the Dark Lands underneath Osirian. It has strong political connections with Gab, which seem to have been struggling in recent years, and that is uh, apparently why Kortash Kane has arrived to rekindle those. So, would we know if he came from underground? Like, he traveled underground and popped up to the surface in Geb, or he popped up to the surface in Osiria and, and traveled by land to get here? You don't know that. Okay, we don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, uh if he's... He probably just fucking teleported or some shit. And if he did travel, probably underground. Um, okay. I, 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 I would like to spend a little bit of time gathering information on whether or not Kortash Kane is known as, like, a devout follower of Cabreri. Obviously, Cabreri is the, you know, the demon lord of ghouls, but is Kortesh, like, a zealot, or is he just, like, I yeah, Cabreri's so. cool, I guess. Everyone's okay with you spending that time doing that? You're more than welcome to. Yeah, yeah, sorry if everybody else is okay with that. Um, yeah, I'm okay with it. I mean, Mahari can't really do much else here aside from guard yeah. everybody at earned income, so. Unless he's earned income, he's guarding. Solomon? Kazmi? They will take yeah. their set. Oh, good. Sounds good. Solomon? If you're talking, buddy, we can't hear you. He's too busy That's playing good. League. <laughs> uh, Jericho, would this match. actually... Would this interrupt his fight? The fight hasn't been scheduled yet. Oh, okay. It's okay. on the, like... I thought it was... It's on the I thought books. it was, like, for a month later. They said it'd be in a month or so, but they haven't given you an... Act. They said they'd give you the actual date when it's closer to it. Okay. So you haven't been given an official date of when it'll occur yet. Do we have a destination now? Um, uh, there was too much information being thrown. I kind of lost track of stuff. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Amira's going to do one more gather information to see if she can figure out if Cortesh Kane is like a big Cabreri guy or like trying to fit. Is he connected to the disappearances or is he you understand what I'm what I'm saying, right, Jericho? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Thank you. I, I appreciate you understanding my ramblings. I try. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, oh, no. Hey, 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 Amir, guess what? Uh, He's the, the freaking Hierophant. Yeah, but... Hmm. Yeah, he is a big uh, Kubriri worshipper. All right. Oh, wait, wait, I was right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. He is the, the leader of the faith. Nemret Noctoria, their king, is also effectively their spiritual leader. They are a bit of a theocracy. Um. The oh, sorry. I guess you're something else. Nope. I was. The I had a thought, and then I decided you don't get to hear that thought. The question I have for my friends: Do we want to bust in and crack teeth, or do we want to talk to him and like? 
I don't want really to bust it. I don't want to bust his teeth if he's not the guy whose teeth we should be busting. Um, well, we can't bust his teeth. Why not? Uh, because I like my own life and I don't want to be destroyed just yet. Well, okay, yeah, but our job it is it's about okay. sending a message. I'm sorry, Nemrit Malkoria is an autocracy, not a theocracy. My apologies. So. What's an autocracy? Well, like the wiki is lying to me. Uh, <laughs> well, um, no, uh, Merit, Merit, he's the king of a nation. He he most likely didn't get that way by needing guards. Yeah. Well, uh, well, what I'm what I'm moving towards is again, our job is to figure out the disappearances. N killing people is allowed as part of that mission. Amir, a so, little I, bit I extra get... information I will give you okay. to hopefully okay. change your decision. Uh, he you. is the High Priest of Cabriri in Nemrit Noctoria. He is also okay. the High Priest of Cabriri on all of Galarian and is considered one of the most powerful spellcasters on the planet. Uh, okay, yeah, let's let's Maybe not bust you could just go talk I mean, to him. Okay, okay, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know all... What are doing? I didn't know all that. I just... He's a king, and if he's yeah. a king of race you don't yes. get to be king unless you fought your way there yes let's they're not a race though let's <laughs> try we'll... talking to him first like Kashmi said what are they ghouls i mean they're like yeah they're like undead but yes. do they like eat do they want they to eat, eat flesh. oh solomon yeah did you still have what do you got in your bag flesh? he's got that yeah, pound of flesh from every day right from six days, yeah. Some of it's been eaten a little bit, but I still have about five-ish pounds left. Is any of it particularly delicious? He sold all his delicious stuff, remember? No, that was the rare stuff. This can still be delicious. Okay, it isn't. Okay. Not pr okay. like it's perhaps to you, but this was from the you know mid-lower end fighting rings. So, it tastes also, like lower class. Uh, for yeah, general yeah. artwork of what a ghoul looks like, for those of you who have not seen them before, they look like this: long tongues. So, uh, let's. There's something for your licking fetish. Let's get some like good ghoul uh, flavored meat. Um, bring it like a bottle of wine when we come to visit. Okay. So we need ghoul tasting meat. Well, so like, I need to go find a ghoul. I need to go find a you know, ghoul. Meat just... that tastes good to ghouls. We'll just wait, bring wait. him a small child. It'll be fine. Wait, 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 wait. Why I... would we give them you? Before, before we just do the plan to go speak to the king of ghouls. Why would he even see us? Unless he's just bored and wants some entertainment. I mean, let's go ask if we can see him. If he doesn't want to see us, then we figure out a way to see him once we get to that bridge. The old classic will burn that bridge when we get to it. Fuck it, I've got my soul back. Let's do it. Um, we're just so, heading to Coffinstone Manor. I'm going to try and get an audience. Uh, or... After we get some high quality meat mm. as a gift. Now, what kind of meat that isn't rare and exotic would be delectable to a ghoul, let alone a ghoul who has such a fine taste? Uh, that's a great question. I have no idea. I'm sure that Jericho has yeah, an my, idea, though. Can my expertise go into it? <laughs> I think this would be a great time for a zombie lore role, Solomon. Wait, Solomon no, no, moment. Okay, but zombies and ghouls have different taste palettes, don't they? Solomon probably has a few ghouls mixed into him. I was just gonna say that. You yeah. don't know how much of him is ghoul. That's That's fair. That's entirely fair. 
you would probably have a pretty good idea, Solomon, that... Like, they have different tastes, but a corpse is a corpse. You're not a picky eater, and you know for a fact many others who share your taste are not picky either. There isn't necessarily such a thing as high-quality corpses. Just because fresh. every corpse is high-quality. Yeah, the freshness is really what matters. Um, would Amira know in character that ghouls prefer rotten flesh? Give me a recall knowledge. Okay. Oh, man. You're cutting out, Kashmir. You may roll as well, Kashmir. Oh, joy. Oh, no. Uh, Amira, you, you might generally have that sort of knowledge that, yeah, they tend to have a... Uh, actually, no, you wouldn't. I'm sorry. Okay, and... did, does it... Can, can I get a bonus because Amira tried to hook up with a ghoul once? <laughs> he also rejected you, so... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there was a reason, Amira. Uh... Uh, and Kashmi, you're fairly certain that they prefer fresh meat. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, God. Could I do a recall knowledge there? No. no. Ah, damn it. Suffer from the consequences of your own roles. Okay. Um. Hey, okay, well, with that knowledge in mind, Amira's gonna get him some fresh meat. Um. Could I do a recall knowledge roll on the religion of Cabriri itself? Sure. Okay. If they really do like rotten meat, then we'll just tell him that this meat's like our friendship. That, it, that you know, it should last a long time. <laughs> It'll, our friendship will age just like this meat. Become delicious. Cabriri's warship isn't particularly complicated, Mahari. Okay. Um, his domains include indulgence, undeath, knowledge and vigil as well. Uh, decay would be an alternate one. Okay. His edicts are eat the flesh of your own kind. Anathema okay. you to Cabriri, cool. what's more important is despoiling grave markers and revealing the secrets of the dead to non-believers specifically. It's, it's a pretty cool insular flesh. religion, but it is a religion that revolves around the consumption of dead flesh. Okay, um... Would my role give me any knowledge if there's, like, any particular sect of the religion? Oh, that's a good question indeed. Uh, I mean, there is, of course, the primary sect that Kortash Kane leads. However, that is not the only sect of uh, Cabriri. You would not be entirely certain what other sects there are. You just know that there are other ones that don't follow the sort of mainstream religion that Kortash leads. Okay. Okay, so... Um... And I'm assuming that's all my role gets me. I can't, like, pry for any more information. I'm gonna say that's what your role gets you, yeah. Okay. And so we go kill a ghoul and we bring the body to him. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, don't... Uh, don't know about I that I mean, one. He's, he's most likely one of the most evil, unholy sons of bitches, Sida Galarian. But he might be looking for an excuse to just 
go ham on somebody. I mean, didn't they, like, we can. just find out that they like eating the flesh of their own kind? Well, you yeah, know, but the... he could say, oh, you killed one of my people. Well, now I'm going to kill you because I'm bored and this is a great excuse. Hmm. Or he'll like the snack as an offering that we did our research. Possibly, but that that's a lot of risk for... I'm not sure how much of a reward. Yeah. Uh... Jericho, I know you mentioned earlier that he was one of the most powerful spellcasters on Galarian. We are not aware of that. Our characters are not aware of that, correct? The best you would know is that um, it is rumored that Kortash Kane's skill with magic rivals that of Geb. Okay. But those um, are pure rumors. Uh, okay. Kim, what were you saying earlier? Nobody knows. Oh, fair. Well, so you guys, are you looking for a ghoul corpse or just a general fresh corpse? Uh, I mean, okay, if there's, like, at the butcher shop, there's a ghoul meat, <clears throat> then, yeah. But let's not go out and kill a ghoul and bring the whole body or whatever. Sure. Where's the fun in that? I don't... Th also, uh, everybody, how are we going to present ourselves to him? Cosme's gonna walk up and ask. Uh, Cosme? Ka yes? Um, that's not a good idea. Why? Because this is the king of an entire well, race. I was married to a king, so? Is she, were... was, she was married to a king. Yeah, this, this is not your husband. Kashmi technically what? does have more uh, political knowledge than any of you. Um... Uh, do it i mean if you if you want to just be nonchalant about it oh okay i just don't think that's the best course of action i mean i could be totally wrong this guy could be so bored okay. and just want a distraction that he'll so, just go along with it so it, here's the thing is that even if amir or mahari is like kashmi you, you you need to like present yourself nobly. Is Kashmi gonna do that? I mean, Kashmi's a much better listener now than she was in the past. Uh, That's a lie. But... So, so... Oh no, she's not. Well, let's... Uh, I mean... But... She is still Kashmi. Let's head over there. You, yeah. you know, like, don't go in in our underwear or anything like that but no i mean we're gonna dress appropriately it's it's he's a big deal we'll put on our nice clothes we'll go we'll be presentable we'll ask for an audience we'll you know do all of the right diplomacy things in a man of his status and just be like hey we're new to town like we heard you know all the stuff and you're a pretty big deal. Do you want to be in our book? Yeah, we're writing a book. One that's already written. Yeah. All right. It was a bestseller. Let's go meet the king of the ghouls. Uh. King ghoul. Okay. This is this is either. Okay, go... if you have a better idea, Mahari, oh, I'm yeah, no, I, 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 glad we I, take... don't, I don't have a better idea. <laughs> oh no, I don't have a better idea. As you all make your way to the southeasternmost Alcazar up into the structure itself and down the labeled hallways to the door of 
is listed as Coffin Stone Manor, you, I assume, knock at the door? Yeah. <laughs> just making sure you're not just trying to open it. You have been known to do that in the past. Okay. I mean, I feel really personally attacked right now. You should. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He's not, but he shouldn't say it. Right, Ooh. it's rude. <laughs> Look, I'm just getting into character of all my NPCs. What do you want from me? <laughs> A few moments pass before the door opens and a relatively well-dressed ghoul stands in the entryway. Can I help you? Is it our guy? No. This is just a um, nicely dressed ghoul. You look great, my guy. Is our guy here? I can't remember his name. Pretend that I know his name and then I'm uh, saying all the right things appropriately. We are here from the Builders League uh, to speak with Lord Cortash Kane. Do you have an appointment Please. with the Lord? We want to make one. Very well. You've come just in time for dinner. Oh, we... we uh, uh, yeah, uh, go, go ahead, Cashman. We brought some meat, but I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never actually eaten with a ghoul before. Is this the right stuff? He takes a look at the uh, prepared gift of meat you all have brought. <laughs> Did we actually buy meat or is this going off of my meat sack? No, we bought but meat. They bought yeah. me. Your presence is gift enough. Oh, is there anything I can do to make it better? Are you corporeal or incorporeal right now? I'm corporeal. No. If oh, no. you'd like to donate a part of yourself more than welcome to. Can I ask you a personal question? He just stares. How much of myself would I have to give to still be, you know, considered polite, but also not miss too much of myself? Giving parts of yourself is not required. But if you wish to provide, and whatever you wish to provide will be appreciated. I'm gonna hand him four pounds for my meat sack. Well, this is. Yours. Oh, it's from those who tried to take it from me. <laughs> Keep it. Feast upon it yourself. Grow from its consumption. Okay, can I join this faction? I like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> You are free to welcome or to worship Cabriri if you'd like. Oh, no, he's already got one technically, but <laughs> it'd still be hilarious if this guy had his own faction. The ghoul will step aside and motion for you all to enter alongside him if you want to. Does he have a hunchback? No, he stands yeah. tall. <laughs> that would have been funny. Okay, um, Amira will take a deep breath. Not that she breathes, and then step in. Okay. All right, we'll step in as well. Same. I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna try to take the, take the front. The ghoul will lead you all through a uh, relatively, you know, lavish few rooms into what appears to be uh, a meeting room. 
where a table has been laid out with a variety of humanoid limbs and organs in various states of decay laid out pretty artfully. Um, there are a, a few ghouls sitting uh, on long benches at either side of it, taking pieces and consuming the meal. At the far head of the table is the ghoul king himself, clad in gold and red Osirian regalia, his cobalt flesh glistening with the oily sheen of sliced meat that has recently expired. His palm resting atop what appears to be the head and armless torso of a mummy floating in the air at his side. Like for snacks or like his pet? Uh, he speaks through it. Oh. Okay. As he opens the mummy's mouth to speak to you all, that is where we're going to end the session. We're going to end the session for tonight. Session yeah. for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he a ventriloquist? He's a very powerful mage, yes. I. <laughs> I, 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 I just I just love the idea of him like like the people who use puppets like ventriloquists like Hashmi was saying. This uh, artwork, he, he speaks through the little guy in hand. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Because he said he doesn't something. have a nose. <laughs> that's why, sure. All right. Well, thank you all so much for playing. I do so hope you enjoyed. And uh, next week, yeah. if not with Kortash, there will likely be a fight breaking out as Woo! you look into who exactly is responsible for the disappearances of the great yeah. faction higher-ups. So, um, right, right, right. I've been denied combat for too long. <laughs> I'm we'll get really you there eventually, Solomon. We don't have to fight a level 25 spellcaster. <laughs> It'd be real that rough has, if you did. I'm not even building a stat block for him. That has one to ten, well, that has cantrip to 10 prepared divine spells and cantrip to 10 um, arcane spells. I'm just going to look at you guys and say you die if you try and fight him. Yeah, seriously. Rip. I'm just going to... Does my attack hit? No. Do I save this spell with a 30? No, that's a crit fail. Die. Hey, I rolled a natural 20. Does that count? No, that's still a critical failure. That's a regular failure. Good on you. You take full damage. <laughs> You're still dead. <laughs> so, look well, forward to next week, and I will see you all then. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Jericho. Yeah. Bye -bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs>